Did you know that the amount of possible chess games is about 10 to the power of 120? Now, if you don't think this number is big, for comparison, the observable universe only has 10 to the power of 83 atoms. Now that is mind-blowing. Chess is a game played with 32 pieces on 64 squares and contains some of the most mind-blowing facts and statistics you will ever hear. And in this video, I will be walking you through some of the craziest ones. Number 1. A chess game that lasted 54 years and only ended because a player died. From 1946 to October 13, 1999, Dr. Reinhardt and Dr. Hendrik played a game of correspondence chess. If you don't know, correspondence chess is just like a regular game of chess. However, it is not played over the board in person, but remotely. Each player has considerably longer time to make a move. And the average time control is 1 to 3 days per move. In the past, players would use pigeons and postal systems to send their moves to each other. And nowadays, people can play correspondence chess online, which is basically chess.com. The game between Dr. Reinhard and Dr. Hendrik lasted 54 years, and it ended in 1999 after the death of Dr. Reinhardt. Number 2. The odds of an average player defeating Magnus Carlsen is almost zero. Magnus Carlsen is one of the best players in chess history, having the highest FIDE rating ever, with 2882. Some of the best chess players fall when faced with him, and end up on the losing side. But what about you and me, the average chess players? What is the possibility of one of us beating Magnus Carlsen? Well, the math has been done. And if we assume that Magnus plays with a strength of 2800 ELO, while an average player has an ELO rating of around 1200, plugging that into a winning chance calculator gives us the following odds. Magnus Carlsen will win with a certainty of 99.999998%. The game will end in a draw with a probability of 0.000019%. And your chance of winning the game is 0.0000001%. I mean, I don't know about you, but the odds definitely do not look promising. But if you think those numbers are crazy, wait till you hear this next one, because number 3 is mind-blowing. We don't actually know how many possible chess positions there are. Yep, you heard that right. If you take the first move made in the chess game, there are 20 possible moves for white, which is pretty basic. However, after the first move has been played by each player, the number rises up to 400 distinct chess positions that can occur. This exponential growth just keeps on going. After just 5 moves, 69,352,859,712,417 possible games could have been played. Now here is the mind-blowing part. We don't actually know the exact number of possible chess games that can be played, since the number is simply too big to calculate exactly. Scientists have tried to estimate the number of potential positions in chess, but even they came up with varying numbers. The most famous result came from Claude Shannon, which estimated the number to be 10 to the power of 120 different chess games possible. This number is bigger than the amount of atoms that is in our observable universe. Even recent studies by John Trump and Peter Osterlund generate a number that is pretty close to Shannon's, which is this one right here. But even this number is only an estimate and not a true answer. I guess we'll never know. We move on to number 4. The shortest decisive tournament game was only 3 moves long. There are some tournament games that end up with zero moves, either after players forfeit or resigned early out of protest. However, the shortest actual game played was in 1984, with only three moves played. D4, Knight F6, Bishop G5, C6, E3, and then Queen A5 with check. White resigned the game after this move because he was about to lose his bishop. Number 5. The most expensive chess set in history. The Jewel Royale chess set is the most expensive chess set in history, valued at over $9.8 million. It's constructed of gold and platinum and is adorned with diamonds, emeralds, rubies, pearls, and sapphires. The king piece is made of 165.2 grams of 18 karat yellow gold and is embellished with 73 rubies and 146 diamonds. It's worth more than $140,000 alone. Number 6. The highest number of chess moves played in a single game. The longest chess game in terms of moves happened in 1989. The game ended in a draw after a brutal 20 hours of play, having 269 moves. However, at number 7, the longest chess games in terms of time was played in 1980 and lasted 24 hours and 30 minutes, with 193 moves being played. Number 8. The longest winning streak in a professional chess is 20 games. This record is held by legendary grandmaster Bobby Fischer, who managed to win 20 consecutive games before being beaten by Tiger and Petrosian. Do not confuse this stat with the unbeaten streak. An unbeaten streak may contain draws, but Bobby Fischer managed to actually checkmate and win 20 games in a row, something that has never been done again even till today. Number 9 is the longest unbeaten streak in chess history, and that record belongs to Magnus Carlsen going 125 games without a single loss, winning 42 games and drawing 83. And finally, if you think chess is only for nerds, you're wrong, because the last stat in this video proves the opposite. 
when it comes to countries such as the United States of America, India, Germany, Russia, and the United Kingdom, at least 70% of its people have played chess once in their lifetime. Now that's a big number. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more chess content.